Hello everyone, I am Abbas Gupta, third year medical student from Kathmandu Medical College, Nepal. So in this video we are going to talk about books that are used in first year MBBS. Here in Nepal, we have six subjects that we have to study in first years. Anatomy, Biochemistry, Microbiology, Pathology, Pharmacology and Physiology. So before talking about the books, let us classify our books into three categories. One, standard books number two books for passing exam and third types they are uh, specific for a specific reason they are basically question collections solved uh, questions of past years so every reason has a different uh, book this third type of book now i'll be talking about this gold standard book and books for passing exam so gold standard books are those books which contains all the information about the topic. It is very, very descriptive and it's very hard to remember those things and write in exam. It's very good for information, for knowledge. You look at it, you learn something, but for exam, you have to go to category number two because they are more like note copy. So gold standard book, number one, Number two, books for passing exam. Now these books are a, what to say, short version, not very short, but short version of gold standard books. They are written from these gold standard books only. And uh, reading these uh, books won't compromise your knowledge. Okay, you'll have full knowledge about the subject. But this third category book, specific for a specific reason books that past question collections with answers they they will certainly compromise your knowledge because they do not contain everything they do not explain everything it's just past question their answer and some basic stops about the topic which is not sufficient for a doctor so here we talked about gold standard books books for passing exam and books for specific reasons, past question collections. So let us talk about anatomy. Anatomy we have gross, histology, embryology. Okay, first of all, you need to have this Langman's embryology book. Now this book is very good as embryology is it's a study of right from the fertilization to development of a baby full down development uh, how the developmental process takes place everything and uh, image uh, book is very much uh, illustrated with uh, images so I would suggest to buy this Langman embryology okay, one more thing like um, books are very expensive in medical college uh, so you read some books beforehand, you find which one is comfortable for you, then buy that one and all other books you can use as PDF or from library. Second one, Anatomy Atlas. This one is Nature Atlas. Now why is this Atlas important? Because it contains diagrams, images that are very illustrated. Before reading any topic from theory, if you just go through these pictures, it will be very helpful for visualization and those visualizations will make your work very easy while studying. So I would suggest this Netter at last to buy. Then for theory purpose, okay, BD Joros, yeah. Now many people recommend Gray's Anatomy, okay, they are gold standard. But it is so vast that it will be difficult for you all to retain all the information and write it again in examination. So this book can be considered as mini gold standard because it contains every information and in very descriptive and in exam pattern. In every end of a chapter, there are facts to remember. Then uh, clinical anatomy, clinical anatomical problem and images 
are also good here but again i would like to say that please buy one at last and read that at last before reading this video yeah. so for biochemistry okay no wait we have histology so histology for histology we can go for decoids or wheaters or uh, ibc uh, okay, these all books are good for histology. Now talking about biochemistry. This is Lippincott. Lippincott biochemistry. Here I would like to say that for initial chapters, carbohydrate, biochemistry, sorry, carbohydrate, protein, and lipid. Uh, you can use uh, Satyana Ryan book. Okay, uh, those chapters are very good in it but after that we should use Lippincott biochemistry because here every figure every diagram is a short answer question if you understand this diagram you can write answer this figure every every figure is a short answer question okay so for biochemistry Satanarai for initial chapters then Lippincott. There are other books also which you will know eventually, but if you read these two books, it will be enough. Now, microbiology. I don't have a microbiology book with me now, so I won't be able to show you, but uh, there are two books that are considered good for the standard Anant Narayan and Chakraborty. So you can use uh, any of them, any of them. So now pathology, pathology, this one is gold standard, Robin's pathology. Now it comes under two category, okay. Pathologic basis of disease and pathology basics of disease. Now this one is basis, it comes under two volume. You can see here it is volume two. So and if you try uh, basics of disease it comes in one volume so like uh, it's not very different uh, book that's uh, basic and basics are uh, very similar nearly same eh? it, uh, just basics has been minimized from this basis of disease uh, this book is gold standard and huh? even postgraduate student during their uh, study use uh, this province pathology for study but uh, as a beginner, when you enter medical school, this book can be very tough. Okay, it's very difficult to understand what's written, what is trying to say. So for initial chapters, you can go for horse mohan pathology, uh, for inflammation, response to injury, wound healing. Those chapters, if you read from horse mohan, you will have a good base. And then uh, reading this Robin's pathology, you will do great. Now pharmacology. For pharmacology, we have one and only our KD3 party. Now, this book is very good. Everything indication, contraindication, side effect, mechanism, action, everything is explained very beautifully. You can read it very well, and you really like this book. See this. See here with diagram and some different color text. I really like this book. Now we have our physiology. Physiology again, gold standard. Guyton. Guyton and Hall textbook of medical physiology. Now this is gold standard. Very, very descriptive. So long chapters. You'll forget everything if you want to write it in exam. So very good for information, very good for knowledge, very good for reference. Just read it. You should read it. But for exam, if you cannot memorize this this one, there is Ganon. Ganon, there is Ganon. So Ganon is basically like note. Everything is given in note fashion. Uh, statement uh, points to remember. So if you read Ganon, it will be very good for physiology. Okay, so okay, I have shown you few books from anatomy to physiology. Now you can buy any of them according to your comfort. First, read some books, 
then analyze with which book you are comfortable then buy those because sometimes you will buy very gold standard and you will not even open those books so that will not make any good so first read then select then buy and other books use pdf or from library all the best for your coming medical journey